हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई एम हरदीप सिंह वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल आल्स अपडेट्स एंड रीसेंट एग्जाम्स फॉर मोर अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू रीसेंट आल्स एग्जाम राइटिंग दस टॉपिक्स लिस्टनिंग रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट एंड स्पीकिंग क्यू कट गेस वर्क प्लीज गाइस पार्टिसिपेट इन एवरी डे लिस्टनिंग एंड रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट टू अचीव योर डिजायर बैंड स्कोर इन योर एक्चुअल आल्स एग्जाम Please hit the like and subscribe button. Press the bell icon for the upcoming notifications. Don't forget like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel and my Facebook page Alts updates and recent exams. Part 1. You will hear a conversation between a customer and a clerk about furniture information. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Thank you for calling your best furniture information line. In order to deal with all calls effectively, we offer you a number of options. Please listen carefully and press your required number. If you want to know about our latest prices, please press 1. If you want to hear about our new special offers, please press 2. If you want to make a complaint, please press 3. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? Good afternoon. I'd like to know some furniture prices. Fine. What about furniture would you like to know? First of all, I'd like to know about beds. I'd like to buy a new bed. Yes, and what kind of bed do you want? Do you have a king size one? Of course. What color do you like? I prefer white. Let me check. Yes, we have a new one from France that came in last week. How much is it? It is 189 pounds. Do you have any discounts at the moment? If your total cost is over 800 pounds, You will get a 15% discount. Great. Do you want this bed? Yes, and I need a light. Where will you fix it in your house? My bedroom. On the ceiling? Yes. Oh, I hope it's in white too. We have a set of white furniture. How about the light? How much is it? It is very cheap. Only sixty-nine pounds, if you take the bed. Okay, I'll take them both. Fine, and anything else? I want to buy a new dinner table for my dining room. What's your requirement? Do you have a round one? Yes. And with four chairs, not six. That's better. Right, round with chairs. What's the price of it? The domestic one is two hundred and twenty-nine pounds, but the imported one is three hundred and sixty-nine pounds. The same style. Yes. I'll take the first one. Okay. The last thing that I need is a wardrobe. A wardrobe? Oh, we have some new styles. Really? I prefer a European design. You are so lucky. We've got a new one yesterday that just came in from Italy. Great. How much is it? It is three hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Hmm, a little expensive. Yes, but it is white. Really? That's fine. I'll take it. A good choice. Are you a member? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me your details? Now, look at questions six to ten.
Now listen carefully and answer questions six to ten. Let me take down your details first. Okay. What's your full name? Daniel Khan. Could you spell the last name? K A H N. Right. And your address? Hill House, sixteen Dave Lane. Could you spell the street name? D A V E. Fine. And your contact number? Four four seven eight zero one three five. Well, what time do you want your furniture to arrive? How about next week? Okay. Morning or the afternoon? Afternoon. How about one p.m. to two p.m. on Saturday? Sunday is better. Okay, on Sunday. Fine. How much is it altogether after the discount? Let me see. The total price is eight hundred and ninety-six pounds. After discount is seven hundred and sixty pounds. Okay. May I pay by credit card? Of course you can. Oh, does this price include delivery free? Because you are our member and live not far from us, the fee is free. That's so great. We have a truck to deliver all your orders to your house next Sunday. Can you take down the reference number? Yes, please tell me. F G zero four one eight. Great. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part two. You will hear a conversation about a hot spring resort. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to fifteen. Now listen carefully and answer questions eleven to fifteen. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Good afternoon. I'd like to inquire about some information regarding your resort. What kind of resort would you prefer? I want a hot spring resort, and it is better to have some indoor or outdoor water activities. Okay. Let me check. How about Tulip Hot Spring Garden Resort?、Uh, tell me some details, please. Fine. It is located in the north suburb near Peak Mountains, covering about sixty-six acres of green land with a refreshing environment. The resort provides various kinds of facilities for sports, entertainment, leisure, and meetings. And the best part is its hot spring. Great. Could you give me some introduction about the hot spring? The millennium precipitation of the Tulip Hot Spring was exploited three thousand meters deep underground. It is a sulphur hot spring. The major ingredient is sulphur. I heard that sulphur, when it's sterilized, is harmless to the human body. Yes, it plays a significant role in softening the skin, hydrating the skin. And beautifying the skin, it can lower blood pressure and reduce blood fat. That's so great. How about its temperature? It's sixty-five degrees Celsius. There are some attentions about the hot spring. Attentions. Yes, the hot spring water contains various minerals, which come out first in black colour, change to clear water, 
afterwards with a mineral smell, a just water temperature to one's comfort before bathing. OK. And do not bath immediately after drinking. And please take your jewellery off when you are bathing. Fine. Uh, how about water activities? Merry Water World has 56 different water sports for tourists. You can experience four different sauna rooms and 21 different spa pools. For a change, one can try the standard swimming pool, tennis courts and the bowling. Can you tell me the location? Now, look at questions 16 to 20. Now listen carefully and answer questions 16 to 20. Let me show you a map of the resort. Fine. Now we are standing at the reception of the main hall. It is at the bottom of your map, and immediately to your left is Villa Part. There are deluxe villas and suites, which have their own hot springs. Fine. The large building with a big glass roof behind the main hall is Merry Water World, the water sports centre. Yes, I know. On the top left of the map is the leisure centre. There are sauna baths for women, 4D movie theatre, a kids room, video games room, a VIP room, a tea house and a beauty salon. Great. And where is the tennis court? It is in the sports centre, which is located between the leisure centre and the tulip garden. Tulip garden? Yes, you can appreciate the beautiful tulips in the garden. Fine. Can you tell me what kind of sports are there in the centre? There is a tennis court, badminton, table tennis, shooting, arrow shooting and climbing. Do you have a restaurant? Of course. The building next to the garden is the restaurant. What dishes does it serve? We have French food, Spanish food, Indian food and Chinese food. Oh, that's so great. If you want to book a villa, please fill in the form. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. You will hear two students, Anna and Chris, talking about postgraduate courses in music. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Hi, Chris. What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be revising for your finals in the library. Yeah, well, I decided it was time for a break. I really wasn't being very productive, so thought I'd come and have a coffee and some fresh air to see if that'd help. Oh, uh, what are you doing with all those prospectuses? Well, I'm trying to decide which university to apply to for my MA in music. Ah. The choice is really overwhelming. Well, that certainly is a big pile of prospectuses. 
Maybe talking about it will help you at least narrow it down. I've got some time, and to be honest, it'll be a welcome distraction from my dissertation. Great. Thanks, Chris. So far, the universities that appeal the most are the Academy in London, Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music, and the Henry Music Institute, which is also in London.、Mm. I'm not an expert, but wouldn't the Henry Music Institute be the best, as it's the one that everyone's heard of? Well, yes and no. Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music is also pretty famous,、mm. and although the Academy in London is less well known, they've got some excellent modules on offer. But still, it's always good to have a well-known name on your CV. Even if Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music and the Academy in London are good, what about the entry requirements? That might help you to make a decision. Well, funny you should say that, as I was just looking at them.、Mm-hmm. The Academy in London requires an audition, as does the Henry Music Institute. Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music doesn't. No, they want candidates to compose a piece of music instead. Before attending an interview, don't the others require you to do that? Compose, that is. No, the others ask you to write an assignment stating why you want to join the course first of all. But if I pass that stage, then I'll also have to attend a face-to-face interview, like the other two places, with the head of school.、Mm. Assuming that goes okay, then I'll be accepted onto the course. Right, sounds tough. I know. But I suppose it's for a master's degree, so I wasn't expecting it to be easy.、Mm. What about the fees? Are they all the same? Well, surprisingly, the fee structures are very different. Why is that? I really don't know. But for example, the Henry Music Institute is the most expensive, at eight thousand pounds a year. Next comes the Academy in London, and the cheapest is Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music.、Hmm. How much are they exactly? Well, for a full-time course lasting one year, it's seven thousand pounds at the Academy in London, and six thousand pounds at Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music. Okay. Well. What other expenses do you have to take into consideration, like train fares, for example? If you're going to be travelling home and back during the holidays, that's got to be a factor.、Mm, I'm not worried about that, though. Insurance is an added cost, as I'll need to make sure my instrument is covered.、Mm. However. All of them require me to send in a check for the charges for applying before they'll process my application. Is that normal? Apparently. Can I have a look? Yes, of course. Here you are. Hmm.、Um, mm. What is it? Well, I think you might have a problem. Why? What is it? Well, it says here that the deadline is January the ninth. That's next week. Where? Let me see. Oh, you're right. Which prospectus is this? The Henry Music Institute. Oh no! What am I going to do? Make your decision now. Is the closing date the same for all of them?、Uh, let's check.、Uh, ah, look here. Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music is on the nineteenth. But the academy in London isn't until the thirtieth of this month. Okay, I'd better hurry up and make a decision. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions twenty-six to thirty. Now listen and answer questions twenty-six to thirty. Right. 
Now, apart from those three colleges, I also wanted to have a quick flick through North Down Colleges and the one from the James Academy of Music.、Hmm. Uh, look, here it is: facilities at North Down College. What does it say? Well, it has a library with a dedicated historical research section、Ooh. that's world famous. That's all very interesting, but it's not going to make me go there.、Mm, okay, the academy in London has four campuses all around central London. They all have large common rooms, and there's one twenty-four hour cafeteria at the biggest site. That's nice, but for me, the most important thing is somewhere to practice. Yes, of course. Right now, where did I see it? Okay, here it is. Look, now this is good.、Mm -hmm. Leeds Conservatory of Contemporary Music has over one hundred teaching and practice studios. What a luxury! Here there are only ten, and it's really difficult to find one empty. So I often have to play in the gardens. Oh dear! <laughs> anyway, that's the past, and this place looks great. Well, what about the Henry Music Institute? Look, there's a new suite with the latest that technology has to offer,、mm. and a small museum dedicated to the history of music. That's really impressive.、Mm, I don't think I'm really that interested in using computers while making music, so that's not a selling point, really.、Mm. But look, this place is interesting: the James Academy of Music. It comes recommended by lots of people in the music industry, and all of its courses have a business element, as well as having a professional studio for recording albums. Wow, that sounds really cutting edge. <laughs> so, are you any closer to making a decision now? That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part four. You will hear part of a student presentation on how music and art are used in the healing process. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Hello, everyone. Before we continue with our lectures on the history of music and art, we'll be listening to Michael's presentation on how music and art are being used to help with the healing process in the twenty-first century. Michael, are you ready to begin?、Uh, yes, I think so. Thanks, Professor. Right.、Uh, good morning, all. As Professor McKinley just stated, I've been doing some research into the healing powers of art and music, and I'd like to present my findings to you today. I intend to demonstrate the positive effects of music and art on patients' emotional, social, as well as physical well-being. Let's begin by going back in time to the most famous of nurses, Florence Nightingale. Way back in 1860, Florence Nightingale wrote in her Notes on Nursing that brightly coloured flowers and art helped her patients to recover more quickly. Although her comments were viewed with scepticism at the time, she was, we believe, the first of many health professionals to state this. Over the following years, there were many other studies that tried to prove that a link between art, music, 
and health exists, but very few of them were strictly controlled, so the results were variable and therefore unreliable. However, one American study was different. In the 1980s, some research took place into the effects of architecture on the recovery time of 46 patients who were in hospital for a gallbladder operation. Half of the patients were kept in hospital wards with windows overlooking some trees. The other half were left in rooms that faced onto a brick wall. It was found that the ones with a nice view left hospital a day earlier and needed fewer painkillers. This study was groundbreaking, as it was the first that used controlled conditions that could be measured statistically and without bias. Now I'd like to bring you up to date and take a closer comparative look at three research projects on three very different types of patient. The first monitored the health of unborn babies. In the study which took place at a hospital in London, babies were played live music and their heart rates were monitored. A healthy baby's heart would beat around 110 to 160 times a minute, but researchers found that their heart rate increased by up to 15 beats a minute on average without the mother's pulse changing. This is a good sign that the baby is healthy. In addition, the mothers that took part in the survey also said they felt more relaxed. Another study looked at cancer patients who were visiting as day patients to receive their chemotherapy treatments. They were treated in a room that had artistic pictures hanging on the wall. The pictures were changed each week so that the patients would not have to look at the same ones week after week. When questioned afterwards, patients said that they felt less pain because the images helped take their mind off the treatment they were receiving. They also noted general improvements in their well-being. Finally, the last study analysed the treatment of a group of elderly patients who were in hospital to have a hip replacement operation, and so they needed to stay for around 10 to 14 days. The researchers played them 30-minute tracks of soothing classical music, but not every day and then monitored their progress using a questionnaire. When asked to rate how they felt both with and without music, the patients consistently stated that they felt less anxious on the days when they had the music playing. There was a second unexpected but completely understandable result from the research. The staff liked the music so much that they said they too felt happier and that they would be less likely to leave the hospital for a job elsewhere if it were to continue. Now that has to be a good thing, which will also have a positive effect on the quality of the treatment patients receive. In conclusion, I'd like to bring to you... That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers. So guys, don't forget like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. I'll update some recent exams for more updates related to recent IELTS exam writing as topics, listening, reading, practice test, and speaking. You cut guesswork. Please, guys, participate in everyday new IELTS listening and reading practice tests to achieve your desired band score in your actual IELTS exam. For more IELTS material, visit my official website www.ielts-updates-and-recent-exams.com. The link is given below in the description. If you need PDF files of latest IELTS material, then please join my Telegram channel. So guys, please write your score below the comment section. Again, thanks for listening. God bless you all guys. Stay tuned. Stay safe.